All your excuses are lies. Little lies that you think makes life easier, but they don't. Now I know in the morning, got that blanket, giving you a warm hug, and you got the, the pillow, which is whispering in your ear, telling you it's okay, telling you to stay just a little longer. But don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Listen to your alarm clock, which is telling you to get up and get some. Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness. Kill it. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to eat right. You don't have to sleep right. You don't have to do more than what's required of you. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. But you also don't have to win. You don't have to be a success in life. And that's why so few people achieve great things. Because they don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to discipline for some greater. So you see all these people that have great things in life that you look up to? It's because they were sacrificed and disciplined long before you ever knew them. You got to get tired losing. At some point, you got to be f***ing tired of not being number one. And you got to f***ing play angry. And I play angry. You got to work every f***ing day. It doesn't end. Just all pissed off for greatness. Just a dream pissed off for greatness. That means you okay with being mediocre. I can't relate to lazy people. We don't speak the same language. I don't understand you and I don't want to understand you. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this. Why you have got to go. Why you leave? This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. You aren't getting it any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. You trying to get to the next level and you just interested. You kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it. Not what circumstances will make of it. Not what other people will make of it. Not what other people say it will be. Not what the environment will try and dictate to you. But what you make of your life. You look for excuses. You look for solutions. That's what winners do. Losers are always looking for the excuse. Well, the winner looks for the solution, man. Why don't you put the energy into the dreams that can be? The reason why you're doing that. If you are, you're not working hard enough, you're not studying hard enough, you're not burning the midnight oil every night, which prevents you from staying awake in the midnight hours later in life wondering what it could have been. You erase that shit through all of this pain, guys. It's free. You don't need to shoot up for it, you don't need to snore, you sweat for it. And then when you leave here, it's an abdominal will, it's been nurtured. You don't think about second place. You think about first and then a legacy and building the gap between you and every other f***ing person. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. The top of one mountain is the bottom of the next, so keep climbing.